How do you do y'all? This is John and today we are talking about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. A new movie on theaters right now. And then Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, it deals with this chimpanzee named Noah whose whole village is kidnapped by a group of apes. And he decides to go on a quest to track them down and rescue his whole clan from this group of apes that are basically building an empire of some kind. Okay, so first and foremost, what I liked about the movie, obviously the main characters are actually pretty well developed. The main hero, Noah, he is, like I said, he's pretty well developed. He is this chimpanzee who is on the verge of, you know, doing his right of manhood, so to speak. He's pretty much a teenager, and he gets thrown into the situation that he did not ask to be in, where he is forced to, before he is ready, become a man. He starts off as, you know, a kid, and through the progress of time in this movie, he ends up, you know, basically growing into, you know, a man. And you also have this orangutan Raka, who is kind of like this spiritual leader of some kind. And he wor basically worships this religion of some kind that considers Caesar from the previous three Planet of the Apes movies to be this messiotic figure. And then you have this human character, Nova. And unfortunately, talking about her... Like, what makes her a good character? It's spoiler heavy, so I can't really get into the nitty gritty details. But she is a well developed character herself. You know, she isn't some like overpowered, like girl boss feminist or anything like that. She's just a human being. And how's the narrative? Well, if you think about it, it's got the same narrative as 10,000 BC, but is executed a lot better. You have this cl one clan get invaded, get raided by a technologically more advanced clan that is building, you know, this kingdom, this empire, and they kidnap everyone, and you just have this one survivor, or these few survivors, trying to rescue everyone. If you think about it, that's 10,000 BC. However, this movie, it is executed in a way that is interesting. You actually have a likable main character on this trip, on this trek. And you have things going on around him that keep you interested in the situation. Not only that, but you actually care about the people you know, that are being tormented by this evil group of apes. And also, like, the visuals. How do the visuals look? The visuals look really good. The special effects on their own are probably some of the best we're going to get this year. But also, just the visual look of the movie. It does look like, pro you know, a prototype of what we saw in the 1968 Planet of the Apes. Like, I even recognized some of the musical cues from the 68 Planet of the Apes. In terms of problems, well, I think that the pacing in the middle section was not the greatest. The middle section of the movie, unfortunately, felt longer than it needed to be. And I just didn't really care for that. I had just sped up the pacing a little bit, then I think that that aspect of the movie would have been fine. And also, like, the main villain, you know, you hear his motivations, you hear about the evil things he wants to do. At the end of the day, you just don't really know that much about him. In the series, the main villain, Proximus Caesar, he is really not in the movie that much. While he's played by a good actor, the overall character development of him 
it just felt weak. All in all, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, that was a good movie. It was a, it was a good movie. It had a well-executed story. The main characters are all likable and you get behind them. The visual element of the movie, it looks nice and it's entertaining. There are a couple of issues that I have with the movie, but that was it. I am going to give Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes an 8. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Bartetsky will return.